Hello, that's Vince Gansberg with GK Project, and this is an Anchor Activity uh, episode, and basically I'm going to show you four different ways to teach one versus one, um, and, uh, as it's, and mainly for the attacking. So the focus is attacking 1v1, but uh, again, showing you four different variations of 1v1 that uh, you can use in a practice. Okay, so the first way that I'm going to demonstrate to you is basically it's it's 1v1, but the idea is that they have someone that is coming from behind. So they have to learn how to play 1v1 when a person is closing them down from behind. So in this situation, the coach is over here on the side, as I'm demonstrating here on the left. Uh, and I think it's easier if you nominate a team to be the attacking team. So for example, the X's, or the X in this case at the top of the screen, he or she will run out, and then the O will follow. They've got to let the X get the ball, so as a coach you pass it in. And then the O now has to deal, or sorry, the X has to deal with this player, this defender now, and they have to get the ball, deal with them uh, when they're coming from behind, okay? And I give them two goals. So if they can get to that goal, and now you can give them the option of dribbling through or they can shoot it through on the ground, it's up to you. If the O wins it, then they you tell them that they have two options. They can either pass it back to you to get a point or they can pass it through the cones to get a point. So you always give, give the defense an objective to do. Um, but again, this one is 1v1 from behind. So then the... Next variation is, is the one that we're all kind of familiar with. In this case, I'll have the O's attack. So as a coach, you simply pass the ball to an O. They come on a dribble. The defender comes out and defends. And now the O has two directions to go. They can either score this goal here or this goal here. So now it's 1v1 from the front. Okay, so then what are some things that they need to look for uh, when taking on a player that's closing him down from the front or in front of them. so as a, And then again, same idea. If the X wins the ball defensively, they get a chance to score a goal. So go around with the O's and around with the X's, make it competitive, make it fun. Um, but always, again, uh, you, your focus here on this one is 1v1 from the front. And always give the defense uh, some sort of goal or some way to uh, to score. Then the third 1v1 variation right from there is now, okay, now we're going to deal with the player that's coming, that's closing you down from the side. So let the player come out a little bit, play the ball in. This player now comes from the side, and now this player has to deal, you know, for example, now what do you do? Do you cut back? Do you keep going? Um, and sooner or later, these players will start getting smart, and they'll start close. They'll start doing that. So now, it forces more of a decision for the ex attacker. So now, the focus is from the side. And again, the same idea: if the, if the defense wins it, they can score either one of these two goals or get the ball back to the coach. And the, the team that's attacking, your choice: you either tell them to dribble through the cones, or they simply have to pass through the cones. So again, it's up to you. And then the fourth way, all right, is diagonally, from a diagonal position. So, again, let this player come out a little bit, play the ball. Now this player is coming more at a diagonal position, all right, and now a little bit of a different angle. So now how do, do they cut back right away or do they kind of keep going? Now, if you wanted to, you could tell the attacking team that they have to they cannot score, and you make like a little dotted line until they cross this line. Um, so that way it will force this player here to keep dribbling. So these are four different ways. Um, again, from how do you deal with 1v1 from behind, uh, from in front, from the side, and from a diagonal position. Hope you've enjoyed the Anchor Activity Series 1v1. And basically... Uh, again, from the front, from the side, from behind, and from a diagonal. 
use these four, use them all in a row, and then you can play a little 4v4 small-sided game, and you can have a very, very productive uh, practice, but be using one main activity, an anchor activity, and then just kind of building from there, giving them different variation within that activity. Hope you enjoyed it. GK Project stands for Games and Kids. And thank you very much for what you do, and have fun with the kids.